So there is nothing like that sound at your house when you hear the truck pull up and it's a delivery of that new piece of home theater gear that you're getting ready to install at your house. Well, this time it was a media stand and it's from the Salamander Company. So I've followed this brand for probably 15 years or so and the build quality is what has always stood out for me. And I've always wanted one of their stands but their price range was just frankly, just totally outside of what um, I was willing to invest for a stand. So I went with an old, the classic stand that you'll see in some of the videos that I have, the glass tops. I think I paid like $200 for that. And that served me well for about 12 years. And unfortunately, because I do run separates, you could hear the glass kind of giving and, and, and it was, it's been way overdue for an upgrade. And I never could settle on which salamander design that I was willing to invest in. And I would save money here and there. And, and there was actually even a time that I was getting ready to order one. And then I just could not part with the money because the price was just, I think the one that I was looking at was about $3,500 at the time. And even though I really wanted it, really felt like the product was great. It was just too far outside of what I was willing to pay. So, um, Recently, I found out that they had a, a sale going on where they um, had dropped, I think it was 15% off of all of their uh, media stands. And I happened to see their Synergy stand. And when I looked at it, I said, you know, it's not the one that I was originally looking at, but it will totally meet everything that I need in a stand. And it's the it's the brand that I really like. So I know the build quality is going to be there. And so I started doing a little bit of research and I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, and pick one of these up. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is just, it, it has exceeded my expectations. And, and I love that. And, and, and I overuse that, but, but I always try to set myself up for realistic expectations when it comes to a product. And so, so I set the bar on what, what I think should be realistic for a product. And again, so I set the bar here for this product and, and they, they definitely come, come here. Uh, the packaging is exactly what I expected. Everything was well protected to make sure that there was no scratches on anything, which was really nice. And I opened everything up. The directions were very easy to follow, put everything together. Um, the, the only two areas that I kind of struggled with were, um, number one, um, you have to put your, um, you have to put the, the, the metal rod pieces at a 90 degree angle. And I, I was thinking, you know, how do you, how do you do that without proper tools? And then it hit me, I have a level. So I went and got a level and so I set, I set the stand up sideways and I got the level. And so I leveled everything out. And there's a little picture on how I did that. And uh, it turned out very nice. And then the second thing is in the directions, they tell you before you put the top on to go ahead and put your um, shelves on and level your shelves out. And that took a little bit longer than what I thought it should have. And then after I put the top piece on, it was much easier to finish adjusting the shelves out. So, I, you know, looking back, I think I could have saved myself a little bit of time had I went ahead and put everything together and then put the shelves in after the fact. But, you know, that's just a small little thing. And you can kind of see how I put the uh, unit together in some of the video clips that you're, you're watching right now if you're watching this video. But overall, the unit looks wonderful. It blends in perfectly with your uh, home theater equipment. So that's gonna look nice as well. Now, if you have a dedicated home theater room, you're gonna turn all the lights off and you're not really gonna see anything. But one of the things that this allowed me to do is because the shelves are adjustable, I was able to set the shelves where I wanted and then to move the equipment around where I did want to move the equipment around. So like even my power management, I was able to set it up and kind of balance the, the way the front of my room looks a little bit better for me. And so really happy with it. If you're not familiar with the um, Salamander products, I would check them out. There are a lot of other companies out there and, and it's even simple enough to where honestly, you could probably build something very similar to this and be happy with it. But 
when when you look at the time and the energy that you're going to invest into this, the synergy systems that they have is in a price range that I think that it's going to be really hard to justify building your own stand. Now, their higher end stands definitely it's something to consider. Okay, is it is it really going to make sense to go ahead and spend that? Now, I will say this: if my if my uh, room was a living room or a open game room. I would probably consider going ahead and and having the the cabinets and everything that they have because they really have some nice looking furniture. Uh, but for a dedicated closed home media room where most of our watching is going to be in a dark environment, um, just to walk in and, and just to take a look at the stand, as you can see in the pictures, I'm very, very pleased with how it looks. The quality is great. So if you get an opportunity to pick one of these up, I think it's a, a great uh, chance to do it with their sale that they're running right now for 15% off. I don't know how long that's going to last, but uh, it, it kind of removes the uh, the tax and then gives you a little bit of a discount on top of that. So it's kind of neat. So take a look at that. But overall, I would say that if you have, especially if you're running separates, you know, these shelving units can hold um, 150 pounds each. So like, for example, I think my heaviest amplifier weighs around 90 pounds, so I'm I'm still well under that capacity, uh, and I, and I have it set on the bottom shelf. But if uh, I ever upgrade to one of the other amplifiers that I'm looking at at a later time, I know that I have the shelving capacity to uh, to do that. So it's kind it's kind of nice to know that um, that the build quality is there. Also, if I ever upgrade my center channel speaker, I know that the old rack that I had could not withstand with that glass top. It could not withstand the weight of the center channel speaker that I've been looking at for the last couple of years. So now if I ever do go ahead and make that upgrade, it, you know, I, I have that in place now. So I've kind of been proactive at this point as I begin to expand the system, because as many people will tell you, when it comes to home theater, it's, it's always a evolving experience. Um, you know, you can always upgrade your speakers, your projector, your processors, um, amplifiers, and, and it's just a really fun hobby overall because of that. But it's fun to really add a new piece of equipment like this because it just looks nice. The other thing that I did while I was going ahead and doing this is I did a little bit of um, maintenance and cleanup work behind the scenes, the things that nobody sees. I've One of the things that bothers me because I like everything to be kind of, you know, put together nicely is I had wires hanging out of the back of my wall. And in one of the last videos, I talked about that a little bit, that I was gonna put some wall plates up and kind of clean up some of that behind the scenes. And I went ahead and did that. And there's some uh, picture examples of that as well in this video. And it turned out really nice and I like it. And uh, sometimes I, I think, you know, I enjoy this so much. I think, you know, I, I could get on a, a work crew and kind of just help do some installs because it's just fun. It's really fun just to see it all come together and to see the finished, you know, the finishing touches, just kind of clean it up and make it nice. Um, so those are some examples. If you are um, contemplating, you know, do I leave the wires kind of running through the wall or should I put those wall plates up? Like I said before, some people will recommend going ahead and running that straight into that amplifier. I understand why. Uh, I've, I've only had a chance right now to watch one movie since I've made that connection, and I have not noticed a, any, any changes in the sound quality out of those speakers by doing this. Again, I stayed all with the 14 gauge connectors. You can see the banana connectors, uh, plug connectors that I put uh, to make that connection into the wall. So um, it sounds great. So if you were thinking about making a modification like that, uh, I really think you're going to be happy with that as well. Uh, again, as always, if you have small questions or any uh, comments you'd like to make, put them in the bottom of uh, the comment section there, and I will try to answer them as I get a chance. And hope everybody has a great week and weekend as you move into the rest of this month.